Monerotopia Weekly News segment is sponsored by IVPN. Use a VPN to help prevent your online activity from becoming a permanent record. IVPN encrypts your data and DNS requests so your ISP or mobile network provider cannot monitor or log your online activity. Purchase an IVPN service today anonymously with Monero. All right. Good morning. Good night. <laughs> Whatever time it is for you. Um, it's time for the news section. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, today we're going to, we're going to keep it short and sweet. Um, most of it is just CBDC because there's just been, um, so much happening. So, uh, let's get into it. We're going to talk about, um, uh, the U S and their stance on crypto with, uh, Elizabeth, uh, Warren, we're going to talk about, um, Europe and, uh, European C central banks, uh, president, um, Christine Lagarde, we're going to talk about Peru. We're going to talk about, uh, Salvador, uh, April fool's day. This is actually a funny story. So we'll talk about it. Mulvad, uh, more CBDC. Um, so let's get into it in the U S uh, we have, uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren. Um, she doesn't like crypto. She doesn't like freedom. Um, so she introduced, um, an act called the anti-money laundering. So this is supposed to, of course, protect you because you need to be protected. Um, but what it actually does, is just instills uh, more surveillance. Um, essentially what she wants to do through this act is, um, she wants to limit illicit purposes, uh, via cryptocurrencies because yeah, terrorists, uh, criminals, whatever, you know, which is a small percentage, I think of the total crypto users, uh, they do tend to use cryptocurrencies, of course. Um, but they just make it seem like, um, everybody's a criminal if they use the cryptocurrency. So we need to, to, um, control it. Um, and what essentially they want to do is K, you know, KYC everything so that you can do anything without in crypto without, um, you know, your customer, uh, regulations. Um, so they want to de-anonymize crypto, which is, they were trying to make it as the traditional financial system, essentially. Um, yeah. So essentially it was Elizabeth Warren is pushing this in the name of, and this is what they all say, uh, in the name of money laundering and terrorist financing and, you know, all the other criminal activities, but we all know it's not about that. It's about, um, control. Um, then let's talk about, uh, Christine Lagarde. She's the president of the European central bank in Europe. And she admitted that the CBDC will be used for control every single time. When I talk about the digital Euro or the digital pound, the digital, uh, dollar, they say, uh, you're going to have some privacy, uh, notice some, you're not going to have a lot of privacy or, I mean, you're not going to have any privacy really. They can do whatever they want. Um, but I try to make it seem like, oh, it's not that bad. You know, you're going to have some privacy. You're going to have some level of control. Well, Christine Lagarde, according to this article said that I think she was having a, a conversation with uh, Zelensky, uh, Ukraine's president and, uh, Zel Zelensky noted the problem is they, the European protesters don't want to be controlled to which uh, Lagarde admitted, oh, there, there will be control. You're right. You're completely right. And then she said but a limited amount of control. Okay. So they're trying to make it seem like, uh, okay, we'll be in control, but the population will still have some level of, um, of say in their financial, um, spendings. Um, she said, we are considering whether for very small amounts, anything that is around 300 to 400 euros, we could have a mechanism where there is zero control. Uh, but that could be dangerous, of course. Uh, so 300 to 400 euros. So that's essentially groceries. So the only time that you you have some level of freedom, um, is when you buy your groceries, but you're not going to have that because you're going to have the, the carbon footprint mechanism, which you'll be able to, you'll only be able to buy so many eggs, so much meat and all this stuff, of course, to protect the environment because the government cares about the environment uh, they care about us. Of course, <laughs> no. Um, so yeah, so she suggested, okay, well, 300 to 400 euros, uh, zero control. But then Christine Lagarde thought more. And then she said, 
Ah, but terrorist attacks can and have been entirely financed by small anonymous transactions. Um, okay, so small small transactions don't work. A oh, big one is too dangerous. Yeah, okay, so back to full control <laughs> over your finances. And of course, the, um, the US dollar, uh, I mean, the, the coming digital dollar, the coming digital euro, and the Peruvian CBDC, which we're, which they are working on, um, it's going to have a system in which they'll be able to uh, control where you spend your money, um, who can send you money, and um, of course they can do they can implement negative interest rates, uh, expiration dates, right? So you have uh, some money and you need to spend it by the end of the month, or it's just going to go poof. Everything that you worked for is just going to go poof. And there's nothing that you can do about it if you're in that system because they control it. So, um, yeah, uh, Peru is on CBDCs, of course. Um, there's a lot of poor Peruvians. Um, half the country's population is actually unbanked. So can you just imagine half the population of Peru doesn't have um, a bank? Um, but the thing is, they're going to implement CBDC, but probably a lot of people don't even have cell phones. So how, how's that, how is that going to work? The government is going to give them cell phones and then um, they'll be able to use CBDC. That, that's going to be interesting. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Uh, but, you know, essentially we do need a digital form of, of money, which for me, which is why I'm even here talking about this, for me it's Monero. Uh, we need we need this as the financial system, uh, just because you can transact globally easily. It's not like uh, cash dirty, you know, you lose it. No, it's all the time um, digital with you and it enables a digital uh, global economy, you know. Uh, but yeah, CBDCs are not the answer. Um, so Peru is onto it. Every single country is onto CBDCs. I'm actually interested to see. So in Romania, we have our, our own currency. We don't have the euro. Um, I guess we have plans to join the euro. So I wonder if we're going to eventually have the digital euro or are we going to have our own digitalized version of our, our own uh, currency? It's going to be very interesting to see. Um, but yeah, I, I really love um, talking about CBDCs on the show because in a couple of months when we look back, then it's kind of like we're predicting the future in a way or are we coming back we're saying like see it was about control um then let's talk about actually my mind is on cbdc so let's, let's go to this article and then we'll switch gears a little bit uh, robert f kennedy jr uh, tweeted about the the fed and they them announcing the fed now uh, cbdc which is coming in july we are in april april may June, July. That's it. And we're going to have the Fed now, which is a CBDC. And yeah, um, Robert F. Kennedy knows, and he talks about the fact that, you know, uh, cash, cash, physical cash transactions are anonymous. A CBDC will allow the government to surveil all our private financial affairs. Anything that has to do with finances, they'll be able to control and do what they, whatever they want. Um, they'll enforce dollar, dollar limits on your transactions restrict where you send your money, where you can spend it, when the money expires, then even worse is going to be tied to your digital ID, to your social credit score. Um, and you know, if you don't comply, then they own your identity, they own your money and they own everything, which is exactly what they want. But this is in, in the name of uh, protection, because again, you need to be protected by the government. They want to make sure that um, you. They want to instill in you the fact that you uh, need to be protected by someone else, that you can do it by yourself, uh, that there needs to be a higher power, the government, um, that needs to take care of you at all times, um, which is you know kind of what we saw with uh, the stimulus checks. People thought it was just free money, but, and that the government really cares. Or, Look at the economy, the economy now. Um, now let's talk about um, Bitcoin and El Salvador. Is Bitcoin really working in El Salvador? Um, someone wrote this week, a local carpenter we know had his wallet frozen for a thousand dollar, a 
of thousand dollar transactions. They asked them to, pr to prove the origin of funds. Um, then, and this is from untraceable, the inscrib board. <laughs> um, then there's also this tweet, uh, breaking Chiva wallet is flagging and freezing wallets who receive transactions from Wasabi wallet. So this pretty much sounds like a traditional, well, not a traditional, but you know, it's a CBDC essentially. Um, doesn't sound to be a liberating way um, <laughs> to spend your money. Um, so yeah, it's it's for me, El Salvador and their uh, adoption of Bitcoin is very interesting. Um, and yeah, that's all I have to say about um, El Salvador. Then let's talk about, <laughs> this This is mostly funny because I know BitTainus and a lot of people from the community probably, you know, know BitTainus if you're on Twitter. Um, so I guess he did an April Fool's prank in which he said, if you send him some XMR, he's going to double it. <laughs> uh, and someone sent him 50 XMR, which is a lot of money. And uh, he, you know, then I guess he, he didn't receive it fast enough so he thought that he stole it or uh, i don't know what exactly happened he got it back but what i wanted to say is don't fall for like uh, don't fall for, this is like a classic scam i give you this and i'm going to give you double nobody's going to do that <laughs> so uh, be careful and don't fall for it uh, now molvad browser accepting monero the molvad browser is fr is free um but uh, the vpn from the Mulva VPN um, accepts uh, Monero. You can pay with, you can pay it uh, in Monero. Uh, I think it's been for like one year, but it, it's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, this was the new section for this week, everybody. We talked, we talked mostly about CBDCs. Um, now, if you don't like CBDCs, if you don't like uh, what the future has reserved, Unfortunately, you can join us at Monerotopia 2023 in Mexico, May 5th. It is April 10th. Time is literally flying. I feel like it's been a year since it was me, Doug, and Sunita in Miami planning uh, Monerotopia 2023. And it just seems so far away, but here it's, it's happening. And uh, if you want to join a like minded community and hang out and have fun, I suggest you go. On the website go buy tickets you gotta click on buy ga tickets so click on that uh, then you're going you're going to add to cart then you're going to view the cart and if you write code pony i think i'm not sure if it's 10 percent now or 21 percent so let's see live wow okay code tony is strong um okay guys so you're getting is it 20 percent 9.9 it's 10 percent times two 20 percent yeah it's 21 percent wow um cool all right so use code tony and you're gonna get a very good uh, discount i'm not sure on the when this is going to last then it's probably gonna go back to 10 percent. but make sure that you buy your tickets uh thank you so much for joining us this week and uh we'll see you next time so take care guys bye, -bye.